So now we have some pretty decent rocks, but to make them really pop, we have to add some lights and we have to add some post-processing. So let's start with the lights. Here you can find at the light, you can find the lights. Um, I'm gonna add a light. It automatically adds this one, which is I think like a directional light type of thing. You can turn off the shadows, but I like having the shadows. So it's up to you what you wanna do. You can change the distance. I like this. I also really, oh, it already turns, it already has the light set to a bit more yellow. Sometimes 3D software adds like a super white light, which is not very nice. I'm gonna make it a bit more yellow though. Like so. Oh yeah, this is like a sun. And then we wanna have some backlighting maybe. Let's add another one. Let's move it here. But let's change it from sun to, to point maybe. Just as there's a test. It does remove the, the shadows from that one. So we're turning that off. So it doesn't influence the shadows right here. And then... Make it a nice color. A lot of people use like a bluish, like a cold type of... Cool type of light. And this specific one I really like green. You can change the intensity here. I don't want it too intense. This one can be a bit more intense though, like that. And sometimes if I have like a focal point, then I sometimes add another light and then I put it to spot. For example, if something was sitting here, some sort of creature maybe, I don't know. Then it could be here in the spotlight, for example. So I'm gonna remove that one. You turn on and off with the eye. I'm gonna delete it. First off, I wanna change the background a bit. Maybe something like this, like a dark browny red. You can also pick gradient or environment, but I rarely use that. I usually, usually go for like a solid color. 